captured a wild dog before. Yeah, well, don't tell him, but nor have I. She could have wiped out all my calves. I wanted to kill her, but my wife wouldn't let me. No, oh, you did the right thing calling us. It is an endangered species. So you know what you're doing? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, right, you you get the door. I'll get the door. So what happened to you, eh? The rest of the pack abandoned you? They're rarer than cheetahs now, you know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay, oh. see? Nothing to it. No, the catch is stuck. Careful, she's not a pet. Protected species or not, if I find her on my land again, I will shoot her dead. <laughs> ah, the honeymooners have returned. Ah, welcome home, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Oh. Hey, Max. How's it? So, how was the holiday? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, I know, it was good. Where's Evan? Oh, he's on a school trip. A cultural tour of Joburg. It's because Grace is going. Right. What happened? She stuck her hand in a wild dog's cage. It didn't quite happen like that. Fortunately, I was on hand with my quick thinking and lightning reflexes. You saved one damsel in distress and you think you're Superman. Oh, thank you, Lois. If you're going to like her, you'll see. I'm telling you now. She's lovely. This is. Oh, hello. Ah, you like him? Yeah, he's gorgeous. Good, he's yours. <laughs> uh, don't worry, he's been certified by that. Name is Domino. Oh, and you got him for Charlotte. Yeah, it's just a dog, it's no big deal. Oh, I think it's very sweet. Thank you, Dip. Mum, can I really keep him? Mm hmm. If you can look after him, yes. Hello, Domino. <laughs> yeah. No, but what do you do that for? The milk's off. It's the power cuts. Well, why didn't the generator kick in? Yeah, can you have a look at it? Oh, sure. I'll fix it. <laughs> do, do, do the shopping. Do fix the generator. Do, have, have sour milk fat on you. Oh, it's so nice to be home. <laughs> oh, God, what's that smell? It's rotten animal feed. <laughs> The power cut knocked off the fridges in here as well. Alice, can you give me a hand, please? Yep. What can I do? Uh, you could look after her for me. OK, no problem. Thank you, Rosie. Don't worry, I'm checked. You know, if that dog had bitten me, I could have been seriously injured. We should have a medical plan. Oh, well, we've got one. The local doctor's goat has angina, so I look after the goat if he looks after us. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind. But look at that generator. Ran some preliminary tests. And? It's naked. See if you can hire one. If not, borrow one. Well, why don't I just steal one while I'm at it? Only if you have to. I take it the electrician doesn't have a sick goat. Hates animals. Not that keen on vets, either. Oh, I rang the National Wild Dogs Trust. They're very keen to help. They're sending a specialist down. She'll be here about one. His name's Terry something. Woo! Are you sure that dog didn't bite you? Well, he's coming here. Well, yeah, we haven't a hope of finding the pack without expert help. 
Well, it's just I was thinking of maybe going into town, you know, to get some more animal feed. You are joking. Look, I've been in South Africa four years. This is the first wild dog that I've seen close up. Never mind a pack. You may never see one again. They're that rare. I know, but I really don't oh, I think... I appreciate that you trying to put the animal hospital first. There's no way I'm going to let you miss out on this. I only have one generator. Why don't you hire one? Yeah, I tried that, but they cleaned up for the next two weeks. We have a spare. Which we need in case of emergency. Warm champagne is hardly an emergency for Tony. Vanessa, you are as generous as you are beautiful. I'm just trying to protect your assets. I will treat your assets with the utmost respect, Vanessa. I'm sure you will, Mr. Duplessis. You can collect it whenever you want. Come on, Tony. How do you install a generator? Hey, sleepyhead. Come on. So, how was the honeymoon? Great. Rosie spent two weeks talking about how much she missed the animals. First day back, I'm allowed some leeway. Cheers. Cheers. I just found her like this. I only turned my back for five minutes. Oh, she's been off her food for a few days. Hey, look what happens. It's not your fault. I'm just tired. Really, I'm all right. I take it the honeymoon didn't go so well. Wasn't what I expected, that's all. Jeez. Can I help? Yeah. I'm afraid it's very complicated. May I? Terry Green. Well, thanks for coming so quickly. I know we're a bit remote here. Oh, don't worry. I don't mind the traveling. It goes with the job. <laughs> so, this is my daughter, Rosie. Hi. Hi. Nomza, could you put the kettle on, please? We've got a guest. I can't. The generator still isn't working. It's working. Charlotte fixed it. <laughs> Hi, Terry. <sighs> we already know each other. I knew she was hiding some dark secret. An ex-boyfriend is not a dark secret. Did you see the way she looks at him? I say it's a man of our business. Thank you, Nomza. At least someone round here agrees with me. Now let's get back to work. Look, this hasn't been easy for me either. I'm not the one who walked out though, am I? I didn't just walk out. What are you doing here, Alice? This can't be what you want. And what's wrong with her? Well, for a start, that drunk old Afrikaans guy. He means well. He's had Charlotte playing with the electrics. Did you get my letter? Yeah. And? I didn't read it. <laughs> Look, it was hard enough for me to leave in the first place. I didn't read it because I knew I would get upset and I didn't want that. I couldn't... I just... I needed to move on. I sent you that letter because I still love you, Alice. Have you still got it? Open it. That's all I ask. He's not my dad. 
So, how long have you momentary... Uh... Rosie, that is not appropriate. Three years. Ah, oh, that's pretty serious. Terry's great. Just couldn't commit. What do you mean, you couldn't commit? Yeah. Terry! Hey, I've uh, checked her out for parasites and distemper and she looks in relatively good shape. You can probably tell that just by looking at her. I'm not a vet. Oh, right. Oh, careful, Charlotte. That's an electric fence. Put your hand in there. She'll take your finger off. Believe me, I've seen it happen. Uh, most of these dogs have been microchipped. I have a scanner. It'll tell us which pack she belongs to. Well, I'll get the cage. It'll make it easier for you to scan her. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Actually, they're quite heavy, these cages. We could do with a hand, Charlotte. Oh, right. Give me a time, I didn't expect to find two tickets to Namibia. It was meant to be a new start for us. We spent three years trying to make new starts. It didn't work. Because I was away all the time. So what's going to change? This job in Namibia is office-based. That's why I applied for it. I'll be home the same time every evening. But you love being out in the field. Yeah, I know. But I want us to be together. You, me and Charlotte, like a real family. Get up. I've got a job for you. Come on, baby. Hey. Now, are you sure you're going to be OK to look after the hospital for a bit? Yeah, I'm fine, honestly. It must have been hard living with someone who was always away with work. Charlotte kind of mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. It was like living with a scarlet pimpernel. Now you see him, now you don't. Do you still love him? Why? <laughs> Did Charlotte kind of mention that as well? No. Keep an eye on her for me. And talk to Max. Whatever it is, you'll sort it out. There you go. I've got it. I've got it. Get on. There you go. Uh, there's a laptop in the back if you want to start it up. Right. It'll open the tracking map automatically. Are you uh, familiar with this system? Um, no. Well, not this exact one. A dupe does all the tracking. Yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, there are only 20 packs left in the whole of South Africa, so these old-fashioned tracking methods won't be of much use to us. We've uh, fitted the matriarch of each pack with a radio collar. You'll see how it works in a second. Gone again. Where's Doop? I'm going to kill him. Doop? Oh, wait, Nomza. Where are you? I was just checking the beds I made. You're supposed to be the lookout. She got away from me. There's no electricity. Sort out the generator now. So he's got a new job in Namibia. <laughs> Head of administration for the national parks. Wow. That yeah, was quite a job. But he wants to take Alice and Charlotte with him. It 
looks like they're down by the river. Over there, to the right. Stop here. Should be just down here. So am I gonna get an answer? I've asked you to come with me, Alice. I know. Well then. I need some time to think about it. Why? I mean, Leopard's Den isn't remotely suitable for Charlotte. I mean, it's not like there's anything to keep you here, is there? I don't see them anywhere. You sure your computer's working properly? According to the radio signal, they should be through, through here. Just be careful now. Well, the signal's perfect. The matriarch should be here somewhere. She could be in there. No. Dogs are better swimmers than we are. She'd have no problem swimming across. Look. I don't think she made it to the river. My guess is, hyena killed her. Well, if the pack were here recently, they'll have left tracks. Looks like we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way, after all. Domino! Domino, where are you going? Domino, he's dangerous. Have you seen Charlotte? No, why? Well, the wild dogs got out. We need to find her. Bloody hell. How did the dog get her? She bit through the fence because the electricity went off again. These tracks are fresh. They'll have to be around here somewhere. Let's hope they're in a good mood. Danny, you there? Yeah, Max, go ahead. The wild dogs are scared. What? Charlotte's missing as well. She's a Proud of yourself. The generator was Diff's responsibility, not mine. You were there, though. I'm not the one who failed to notice a dog chewing through a fence. Well, at least I wasn't drunk. What were you thinking? Just felt like a break. Break from what? I thought you said the fans were electrified. They are. The power must have gone again. Well, surely you got a generator. Yeah, we do. It's down. Dip was supposed to fix it. Uh -huh. Well, that makes sense. Don't worry. I'll get you there. I can't believe this has happened. Rosie, I don't want us to be like this. So what do you want to do? Help! Help! <laughs> Help! Quick! Help! It's that! The gate's that! Get you home, eh? But what about Domino? I'm afraid we can't do anything about him until daylight. Do try. Charlotte. Charlotte. Don't you give me the 
the fright of my life. Domino ran off with the wild dog. <laughs> if they go to the farm, they'll be shot. The main thing is Charlotte's all right. You do not go into the bush. Do you hear me? It's dangerous. Your mum's right, love. You have to be careful, hey? For future reference, I am not an electrician, okay? I don't do call outs. Can you fix it or not? Oh. Hey! Hey, hey! Hey. Hey. I'm gonna lay some traps, try and catch the wild dog. All right, if I get some meat for him. Everything in the freezer is defrosted. Oh. Just take what you need. Okay. Uh, listen, I wanted to say thank you for getting me here so fast. When I heard she was missing. I know. <laughs> I understand why you left. I do. It's just, um... Being with you and um, seeing you with Charlotte. I, if anything happened to either of you, I don't know what I'd do. I want to look after you. You and Charlotte. with you. <laughs> How could you miss the wild dog escaping? Was it my fault? It wasn't Max's fault either. Norman had told me the generator was down again. I didn't check it. Why the hell not? I got sidetracked. I knew you two were up to something. One of you better tell me what this is all about or I swear. Did he? I just asked Alice to go to Namibia with him. I found the tickets in her room. If you want Alice to stay, you should tell her. Who says I want her to stay? And given you're the one who nearly got her daughter savage. I apologise for that. No, actually, you didn't. Stop but... it, please. Where's Max this morning? Uh, I think he had some paperwork to catch up on in the bar. Everything all right? Absolutely. Good morning, dear. Hi. Where's my mum? Terry set some traps last night. They've gone to check them. I don't think she wants to leave. Oh, she's young. She'll make new friends. Well, she struggles to fit in sometimes. I oh, know, but it's not like we're sending her off on her own. We'll be there. We'll help her. <coughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Good hey. boy, Domino. Good boy. <gasps> Aren't you hungry? I'll be in my room. <laughs> Domino? We're back in business. The wild dog is in the 4 by 4 She was caught in one of Terry's traps. And Domino was there, right beside her. You're a brave boy, Domino, trying to help your friend. Well, they're not friends, Charlotte. A wild dog is a highly dangerous animal. I think we've got that. Yeah, but she didn't seem to get it, did she? She's nine years old. Give her a break. All right. Enough. I'm just worried I about it. I am still here, you know. Don't worry. We'll be out of your hair soon enough. Assuming your tracker can find the pack. <clears throat> What are you doing? I can't go to Namibia if I don't pack. Honey, 
I know you like it here. And I know you're sick of moving every other month. Hey, but this is our chance. You know, a real family, real home. Can I bring Tom now? <sighs> of course you can. Come here. Yo, Max! What are you doing here? Terry needs a tracker. And if they can't find the pack, they'll have to stay. <laughs> What's your excuse? I uh, must have fallen asleep. You're not a drinker. What's going on? There's nothing for you to worry about, Doc. Doc! He's not in the house. Does that strike you as odd? What? A Dalmatian and a wild dog together. Oh, I'm no expert, but I have seen a buffalo befriend a hippo, so anything's possible. Where is he? I don't know. We've searched everywhere. Oh, so we've no tracker. We can search for a month and not find the pack. Well, we'd better get a move on then. How do we know if the pack is going to accept her? And why did they leave her in the first place? She might have got lost during a hunt. Maybe they just threw her out. Or maybe she left of her own accord. Maybe she doesn't want to go back. She's the dog, Ellis. If she can't fit in with the pack, she can't survive in the wilds. It's as simple as that. Dula's doing well, eh? Yeah, she's doing great. Starting to look like a real family. <laughs> I wonder if they'll stay here. Those elephants aren't going anywhere. But if we don't do something about it, Charlotte and Alice are leaving. They're the best thing to happen to Leopard's Den since you Trevanians arrived. Tracks stop here. Well, they must have gone back there then. They couldn't have just disappeared. Well, that's right, Terry. Not unless they're magic dogs, but that does seem unlikely. Well, what are you thinking? If they had pups, they'll stay close to a den, am I right? Yeah. But if this was as far as they were prepared to stray in this direction, and we've already established that they didn't cross the river. So the den is between the river and the hill. Boy's a genius. Danny. Come on, wait. we're getting close. Come on, Charlotte, your mum tells you everything. Look, if we know what she doesn't like, then maybe we can fix it. She might decide to stay. Yeah. Danny. Danny? Not that she doesn't like him, it's just she says it can be a bit annoying. Listen, Danny, I know I'm leaving you in the lurch a bit, but... Don't I... worry about it, there's plenty of other vets in South Africa, I'm sure we'll cope. Defensive and stubborn, and sometimes he can be really grumpy, especially in the mornings. Is pig headed a word? Oh, can you slow down for just a I'm second? Just trying to find your pack for you. Well, I never asked you to find the bloody pack. Look, with the matriarch dead, there might be a battle for control. She might not be very popular right now. I'd say she'd be decidedly unpopular. So, why are you trying to find them? So you can get on a plane and go. <laughs> Looks like you've got your wish. Well, that's the hard part over with. Let's get to work. Come on, man. Stand back. Okay, okay, I'll get it. Do you really want to do this? Oh, we don't have an alternative. I think Alice has some reservations. You know, if we let her go, she might not survive. I think it's worth the risk.
Not exactly a bloodbath, is it? <laughs> Not exactly, no. Oh, Danny, I take my hat off to you. A professional tracker couldn't have done it better. Thank you, Terry. I couldn't have done it without you. They're turning on us. Oh. Follow the road round, I'll meet you on the other side. You're not going to, are you? I'm not much use stuck in a 4x4, four four, am I? Are you sure we should be getting involved? We don't have a choice. Come on, they're gonna kill her. They're coming after us. Boom! Go! They're getting closer. Keep going. Don't move, don't move. Oh, oh, I'm seeing stars. Yeah, I bet you are. Here, let me have a look. Right, stay still. Right, I'm not going to hurt you. Yes, you are. All right, I'm going to hurt you, but it's for your own good. Do you know, you'd have made an excellent dentist. Ow. You're such a wimp. Yeah, that's what I'm going to miss most about you, Alice. Your warm, sympathetic nature. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Um, well, you had to scare the dogs off. They came right at us. Oh, we better get a move on or we'll lose her. You go on the 4x4 four four with Terry. I'll find the dog. You're not going on your own. He might be concussed and he needs someone to keep an eye on him. That dog needs a vet. She knows what she's doing. Be careful, yeah. No! We are not ripping up the flight tickets or letting the air out of Terry's tyres. What, what, what about laxatives in his oh. coffee? He's not going to get on the plane with the runs. Max must have finished his paperwork. Talk to him, Rosie. Tell him I'm busy. <laughs> hey, Max! She doesn't have to worry, I'm not staying. I'm just picking up some of my stuff. She said she wants to talk to you. Hi. Hi. Take it you slept in the bar last night. Well... It's not like you wanted me to come home, is it? Where's your home too? All right, I shouldn't have had a go at you about the generator. And yes, I was too busy with the elephants to notice the dog escape. How can you still care about the elephants after what happened? What? Still be pregnant. Look, we hadn't gone tracking that elephant. If I hadn't let you talk me into it, <laughs> it's good to know how you really feel, Max. Thanks for your support. Do copy. Are you all right? Alice, do you read me?
what have they done to you? Hey, Max. Max! What is it now? I need your help, man. I've got a plan to make Alice and Charlotte stay here. Good for you, dude. Listen, might I remind you that you are the one who's partly responsible for Charlotte almost getting savaged by a wild dog? It's better be good. I knew she shouldn't go off alone. She knows what she's doing. She's a city vet, Danny. She hasn't a bloody clue. Alice. You're going to have to learn to trust her, you know. I do trust her. I trust her with jobs that she's capable of, not this. Teddy. Alice. Thank God. Can you start the four by four? Danny, get my vet box. We need to stop the bleeding. <laughs> I knew I should never open that cage. Why did you then? I don't know why. You found her. That's all that matters. This will be the last animal I treat here. Like you said, there's plenty of other vets, eh? You won't be that easy to replace, you know? No, why? You know your stuff. You're not scared to get stuck in. I got the impression you couldn't wait to get rid of me. That's why we were trying to find the pack, remember? Just wanted to return her to the wild. That's where she belongs. There are only about 20 packs left in the whole country. Yeah, I get it, Danny. You're worried about the dog. Alice. Look, let's just try and save her, okay? to burst your bubble, but the reality is if this dog can't function in a pack, it won't survive in the wild. So what are you saying? There's no point trying to save her? Huh? Well, if she can't contribute to her own species survival, we should let nature take its course. That's not the way you do things around here. Alice? If there's a chance I can save her, then I have to try. Okay, keep the pressure on. Okay, now. Right, let's scrub up. I've got a plan. What, to keep him from leaving? Yeah, yeah. Now, you just... I'll be back soon to explain. What are you doing here? Dup says he's got some kind of plan. Oh. Dup! Dup! Open the door! Dup, you're an idiot! The oxygen saturation's low. Come on, girl, keep fighting. That clamp out yep. the way for me. OK, hold then. Yeah, don't let go. OK. We're not going to let her die. OK. Are you planning your next holiday? I assume you're going on your own this time. I don't blame you for what happened, Rosie. I didn't mean that. You're doing your job. It's what you do. Wish we could go back and keep thinking what our child would have been like. All the things we were going to do together. I had a future all mapped out. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with her now. She'll be all right here, won't she? Can you just keep an eye on her for a minute? I have to check something. What? Just for a minute. Has he been here the entire time? I swear he's worried about her. I'll love her. You're not on your honeymoon now, you know. Charlotte, can I have a word? She wants to stay. I'm talking to Charlotte. Billy. I want to stay. Huh. Okay. 
I need to know what to say to convince you, Mum. Is there anything about Leopard's Den she doesn't like? Alice. I want you to stay. I meant to say it earlier, but, but hell, I can be a bit stubborn sometimes, and maybe a bit defensive about Leopard's Den in particular. And that's probably why I behaved a little pig-headed. And I know it can be annoying sometimes. I don't mean to be, Anne. I'm trying to change. Danny. And as for being grumpy in the morning, it's just until I've had a coffee. Danny, I don't think you're grumpy. Or annoying. Or pig-headed. Or whatever else I've said to Charlotte. Can be a bit of a smart ass sometimes. Yeah, you can. But so can I. Well, that's all I wanted to say, really. Mum, can I only let Domino into the wild dog's pen? Absolutely not. They do seem to like each other. Hmm. Maybe she's different to other wild dogs. You can't put a domestic pet in with a wild animal, Alice. I would have thought that was common sense. Alice? Right. Open the gate. It's all right, love. It's just a tranquilizer gun. You don't want to do this. Are you going to open it or not? All right. Steady on. There it goes. Our flight. Teddy. You're not coming, are you? It's just bad timing. I suspected you had a thing for Danny from the start. That's not it. No? I thought as much. Sorry. We're staying. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm no, glad you're staying as well. <laughs> you sure this is what you want? If Charlotte's happy, then so am I. Start of a beautiful friendship. Who'd have thought it? Eh? <laughs> oh. I'm going to leave Lippert's Den. I'm going to England to live with Gella. So when are you thinking of leaving? Tomorrow. Why don't you take a look around? See if there's anything of interest. Look, I'm all cooked up in here. Let's get this place closed down. I always said I'd leave Lippard's Den in a box. Yeah, I am saying goodbye to the old place. <laughs> and if you missed last week's episode of Wild at Heart, you can watch it with ITV Player at itv.com slash ITV Player. Next, the spotlights on the two couples who didn't quite do enough. Dancing on ice, the skate-off is coming up. <laughs> 